So this this segment, we're going to talk about the artist. Uh, you noticed our special beginning clip. That's a om an homage to the silent film era. And that's what the artist is really about. This is like an original piece of nostalgia, uh, hearkening back to yesteryear, uh, black and white, no sound, um, some text intermittent. And the artist stars John Desjardins and Bernice Beho, John Goodman, James Cromwell, and uh, Uggy the Dog, who's like stole the show and is like a big star. Um, so there's you know there's quite a bit to talk about with the artist. Um, we'll start off with the idea of silent film, and um, this hasn't been done in 70 or 80 some odd years. And for those of us, or for those of you who saw our Oscar preview. Uh, we talked about it a little bit. Uh, we both feel this is going to win best film. Um, but as far as the content of the film goes, you know, this is this is really unique for this day and age because uh, everything is done with color and sound. And so, like every so often, somebody shoots something in black and white, and everybody says, "Ooh, that's cool." You know, they're paying tribute to yesteryear. But this is really going back. Yeah, like this is years. really. Um, yeah. Is, you know, we talked about bravery, bravery in our last segment, and for the studio to take this film on was such a big risk. It's a gutsy move. Really, really gutsy, and, and it paid it paid off big dividends. Um, uh, the the story is great. Uh, it's a great you know. It's a, it, they chopped it up and made it just the right length. Um, because yeah. as you know, older you know silent films from you know they were like that 70, era were like yeah, yeah. they were really long back you know when they uh designed yeah. those films so yeah let's let's talk about the story a little bit um it's a standard tale it's a little bit like a star is born in fact when i talk to mm -hmm. people rise about and the fall. artists yeah. rise and fall there's like this you know and they, they the uh two main characters meet in the middle mm -hmm. and um when one's career is about to take off and another one is already there and they kind of like pass each other but then uh, what I liked center. was the yeah. female character was able to pull the male character back into out of the doldrums. Yeah, out right. of the doldrums and out of the darkness of right. fame, and bring him back and you know rekindle his love of the the art. Yeah, and it's and it's really a classy move because um, what she's doing in a sense is she remembers that he helped her get her start. I mean, she was already on her way, mm -hmm. but you can't. There's no such thing as bad bad press you know yeah. she got all that free press at the beginning of the film and towards the end she you know she realizes she really does care for him and first and foremost you know she wants to see him do well but she also wants to see him rediscover his love of the art there's a there's a thing that really makes the artist special and it's that friendship that they had as well as the romantic side of right. the relationship which you see a little bit yeah of. and which is kind of lost today and a lot of uh you know, relationships in general and just the art of filmmaking. You, know, you always see, like, the... You don't see the real friendship. Right, they fall in love first and the friendship comes Yeah, and the second, friendship right, comes... And that's why they break up. Yeah, right, right along with that. So, so yeah. there's bigger risk, you might think, with some established actors in there with John Goodman and James Cromwell. I thought, you know, these are guys that are veterans and pros and have done talkies their whole career. And um, for them to be able to step into this and, and emote like they did. And, and this is one thing I really wanted to touch on. We talked about a little bit in our Oscar segment. Is, you know, I, th I also thought Jean Desjardins could win Best Actor because this is not necessarily a lost art or skill, but it's one that doesn't get practiced a lot today, which is um, acting with your face, is what I call it. Really, like em showing emotions on your visage. Um, Desjardins is great at this you know you really know what he's feeling at all times throughout the film yeah and that's why um, that's what what's beautiful about the movie is that it 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 challenges the audience as well as you know the actors themselves right so we feel like we're all experiencing something new together which uh, great films do uh, right. it kind of includes it, tran it transcends the typical movie yeah experience. exactly yeah, so. yeah and um, you know Bernice Beho is is great. Um, Peppy Miller is kind of a great name for her because she is very peppy. She's got mm -hmm. a lot of spunk. This is a common popular characteristic as far as like what they were looking for back in that era. Yeah, you know, the all, era. Right, actresses had to have that spunk or spark. And you know, we we also touched in our Oscar segment about how strong the women's roles were this year. Um, 
George Clooney even mentioned it in an interview he did with Entertainment Weekly that um, he thinks that's a bunch of bull that uh, there aren't any strong women's roles anymore. This year, their you know yeah. main act the uh, actress categories could have had eight, ten uh, nominated. And yeah. Bernice Beho is is this is a great an example of that. Actresses. Yeah, yeah. Um, she you know without her the film is it you know as interesting. It's sure still pretty interesting, but she has to. She's not. You know, she's the missing ingredient, kind of, sort of, yeah. in the film. Um, what do we think about Uggy the dog? I think I'm pronouncing that right. I think that's his name. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he, I he's think been at all the award shows. Um, this dog, I don't know if there's an acting school for, um, for dogs. Yeah, the, if there was an acting school for dogs, this dog is like the teacher. The, yes, yes right. he's the instructor. And <laughs> you could you could almost make a case like I think who was the last animal to win for acting was Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin. Yeah. Right. So I think Augie, you could put him in there. I don't know what category he gets. Yes. Well, best lead animal. So what do we think about what the do we artist? think about the artist? All well, right. I think it's a definitely a go see. Um, there's no doubt about it. It's it's the most interesting film to come out at least this year in what I considered a weak year for films. Um, it's a tribute to nostalgia. It's a really well put together um, silent film, and um, you know they make no bones about what they're trying to do. And it's not only an original idea, but it's executed very well. And uh, the acting is is top notch. It, you know the actors have to display skills that we don't get to see a lot of today. Uh, the directing is really well done. The film was, you know, spectacularly paced, and uh, you just get a—it's really a charming film. You just get a really good feeling after you see it. So I, I think it's definitely go see it. Yes, it is this year's feel-good movie, uh, pulled from the era of silent films directly into 2011, 2012, and it is blowing audiences away. Right, it's cleaning up yes. at at that. The awards yeah, season, it, yeah. and it's gonna, you know, I think it's gonna sweep the awards this year, um, and you know, surprise a lot of people. Well, actually, not not surprise a lot of people. I think everyone's pretty much, you know, they know that the artist is the best movie right. of this year. So, go see it. Go see it. It's actually, and we'll put a plug in here. It's playing now at the Midtown Cinema, 250 Riley Street, Harrisburg. Uh, it'll be there till the end of the end of. Uh, at least beyond Oscar yes. season. Yes, so. www.midtowncinema.com. Right. Take it out. Go see it before it's gone. Um, you won't uh, be sorry. You won't be sorry. You're right. So. All right. All right, so this has been Phoner and Hood's review of The Artist. Uh, we both said to go see it. And uh, be sure to check us out on the web, on our Facebook page, at Phoner and Hood Movie Reviews. And also our accompanying video on YouTube. And be sure to check out uh, Film Clips with Paul Hood on penlive.com. And also we would like to thank uh, Harrisburg University yes, thank for you. allowing us to use their wonderful studio and our producer, Claude Robinson. Great. And uh, so I'm Joe Foner. And I'm Paul Hood. And this has been Foner and Hood. And we're out. And we're out.